Back in the shop. Um, today, we're gonna start working on getting the rear finished out, but we're still waiting on bump stops. I wanna get the bump stop set uh, before I build the storage and fuel cell out, so we might as well work on the fuel cell. So we got the fuel cell over here on the bench. Just started cleaning it all up. Um, I'm going to start cutting into it. I already um, made sure that there was no fumes left, rinsed it out one more time, and then uh, made sure it was safe to work on. So now we're going to cut these off first. We're not gonna be using these anymore. And then I'm gonna drill a couple holes um, and then figure out how I wanna build the new sump setup. Got the bungs cut off and cleaned up a little bit. Um, I am going to clean all this up and then drill a couple holes. I was originally planning on cutting this whole section out and rebuilding the sump, um, but what I'm gonna do instead is drill these holes a little bit bigger and then drill a hole like here and here and then build a separate sump over top. Um, that way I don't have to worry about trying to butt weld or making a, a flange in it. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's an idea and I think it'll work. So, Kind of the idea is, um, it might be a dumb idea, or it might work really well, but the sump, this tank has no baffling or anything. Instead of building a whole new tank, what I was thinking about trying to do is, I drilled these out, obviously, um, I'm a, I have new ones, but this is the ones I cut out. There was two here. I only need one for this application, um, but I would run into when I, my fuel tank would start getting lower, I'd run into if I was, passenger side low on my driver this was on my driver's side I would starve the truck of fuel so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna build another sump with these couple holes in it over top and then put this at the lowest point here and then that way the fuel comes in through these holes gets trapped in this new sump space and no matter the angle you're at it can't all drain out super fast because there's just a couple holes so that's the idea we'll see if it works Kind of the idea and on the back side we have all the holes and then it'll all capture it and then it'll, in theory this should hold some fluid some fuel and it shouldn't be able to drain out easily well i guess we'll find out so got the tank all cleaned up i gotta obviously but that's where i'm gonna weld and then i end up finding the crack i don't know if you've got to see that um after cleaning it though it showed up right along here this weld so, good thing is, this piece is the new piece, and it's gonna go right over top of that crack, so I'll drill, stop drill the crack, weld it up, and then when this piece welds to it, it should fit uh, nice and keep it strong there. So, got this all welded up, and I decided to weld the inside as well. Not perfect, but um, just a little bit extra piece of mine. So now I'm going to fix the I stopped drilled the, the crack, weld that up real quick, and then we'll start welding this thing up. that all welded up so now i'm ready to weld this on probably cleaned up a little bit better rub it down with some acetone and get to get to weld and i'm gonna take my time on it because it's gonna be a lot of heat going into all that
got this thing full of water check for leaks so far we don't have any but we'll let it sit for a little bit make sure and then uh, probably throw some pressure out to make sure that there's nothing and then uh, ready to go back in the truck and looks like we do have one leak of a little bit of water coming down here from this corner so drain it get that welded up no leaks now so we'll check the rest of the tank on make sure it's good and then we'll go back in the truck got this all cut up so it just overhangs the corner and that will give me a good mount point Got the first side done, second side we measured out, we're gonna cut that up and then we'll clean it all up and weld the other side on and then drill our holes for the mounts. Well, this should make mounting a lot easier. Just gotta drill a couple holes and make some tabs on the tube. Wow, I put some new lights in the shop and uh, it is a lot more light over here on this side. Um, so those, I got the holes drilled in it and now I just need to make some brackets, figure out exactly what height I want. Right now everything clears. Um, but it's a little bit below that tube, so I just gotta figure out the, the height I wanted that, and then I can build a couple brackets to mount it, and feel so I'll be done, move on to the storage, and then I can finish out all the supporting tubes in the rear, knowing where everything's going at. So, we got the fuel cell mounts tacked in. We'll finish them out uh, once we pull the fuel cell, but it's all tacked in, so now we're going to move on to getting the bump stop set, figuring out the storage, and then I'm gonna, I gotta mount my battery and my welder and move on with finishing out the tube work.